my name is Laura and I'm going to tell you a few fun facts about our marvellous meerkats. So fact number one is they are from Africa and they live right down at the bottom in South Africa. So you can have a little look at a map at home. Um, they live in a desert called the Kalahari Desert, all the way in South Africa. So it's very dry in the desert, very arid, not much water. And it can also be really sunny as well, with lots and lots and lots of sun. So meerkats have actually got black patches around their eyes. And have a think about why this could be. Now, I'm going to put something on that will tell you the answer. So meerkats have little black patches around their eyes like they're wearing sunglasses. So you can find some sunglasses at home, pop them on, pretend that you are a meerkat. Those black circles around the eyes act just like sunglasses. They stop the glare of the sun getting into the eyes. A fun other fact about their eyes is that they actually have an extra eyelid. So if you were to close your eyes, if you do that now, um, you can't see anything. So you won't get anything in your eyes. But meerkats, they have an extra eyelid. So when they close it, it's actually clear and it's actually see-through. And that means they still don't get anything in their eyes, but it means they can still see when they're looking for their food in the ground, but then they don't get sand in their eyes. And in their ears, they also have a little, a little valve, like a little flap of skin in their ears. And that can close as well. And that can stop them getting sand in their ears as well. So they are really well adapted for living in the desert. So that means they're really well suited for their habitat. You can have a little look online and see if you can find any other adaptations that meerkats have, because they have got loads. The next thing about them is about what they eat. So I have got here, I'm going to pop my little makeup friend down, I've got a mystery bag of some pretend food. So don't worry, nothing's alive. It's all just toy food. I'm going to pull each thing out one by one. Before I reveal the answer, I want you to think at home, does the maker eat it or does it not? So you can give me a thumbs up if you think, yes, the maker eats it, or give a thumbs down if you think, no, the makeup does not eat that. So the first one is a little bird, a little chick. What do you think? So actually meerkats will, if they can, catch little birds, they will eat them. So yes to that one. Let's have a look at what's next. Ooh, an insect. So this is something like a locust or a grasshopper. What do you think at home? The answer is yes, they do. They eat these insects. They will eat spiders as well. They will even eat scorpions. They're so clever that they will bite the sting off the scorpion before they eat it. But even if they do eat that scorpion sting, it doesn't actually hurt them like it would do to us. So yes to that one. Next one, an egg. What do you think for this one? So yes, meerkats do eat eggs. Here at Nosley Safari, we give our meerkats chicken eggs like you might eat at home. But in the wild, they would find other eggs from birds or snakes or lizards. And yes, they would eat eggs. Okay, so it sounds like they eat pretty much anything so far. The next one is a carrot. What do you think about this? So they don't eat carrots out in the wild. If you think about that habitat I told you about, the Kalahari Desert, not much water, not much rain, carrots would not grow. Here at Nosley Safari, again, we feed them little bits of fruit and vegetables, but in the wild, they wouldn't be able to get them. But they would eat plants, so no to the carrot. Okay, last couple left. A millipede. What do you think for a millipede? Yes, they do. So again, things like that, like the insects, the spiders, the scorpions, that's pretty similar, so they do eat them. And last but not least is a mouse. What do you think to that one? So they do, they do eat mice, and um, we actually give them one mouse each for their breakfast here at Nose Safari. That's their first meal of the day, and for us, the meerkats actually eat four times a day, which is pretty nice. So basically, meerkats eat pretty much anything and everything, because there is not much food in the desert, and if they limited themselves to only eating a few things, they could go hungry quite easily. So by eating lots of different stuff, they can hopefully stay um, well fed. Okay, brilliant. Now, the last fact about meerkats, I want everyone to join in with me at home. I want you to all do your best impression. So you put your little paws up and then you go, hi. So if you're on, if you're stood up, you can go on your little tippy toes, pretend to be a meerkat, look around and have a think about why they do that. Now, the reason is, um, is due to their predators, to due to danger. Animals are going to try and eat them. They will always have one meerkat that is a lookout, um, and it will look out for predators and danger. And when it sees something, it makes an alarm call. 
okay? And they can make quite a few different alarm calls for what they see. You might have seen our meerkats doing that at Nosley, um, and that's because um, they are still looking out for predators, even though there's not as many around, they will still do that. And you might see them go up their branches as well to get higher, to get a high viewpoint to see further around them. But if not, they do have a long tail. Now, a meerkat is about 30 centimetres in length. So grab a ruler, that's how long a meerkat is. And then their tail is about 20 centimetres. So grab another little ruler, pop, pop them next to each other, see how long that meerkat is all together. Now, that means they can use that tail a little bit like a tripod, and they will stand on their back legs, put the little paws up and look around for danger. Now, have a think about what is going to be a predator for a meerkat. I'll give you a clue. They're looking up in the sky, so it's up in the sky. And it is a bird, a bird of prey, like a hawk or an owl or an eagle could easily swoop down and pick the meerkat up from the ground and fly away with them. So have a think about where would they go. Now, meerkats have got very long shark claws. They're about two centimetres long. And they will dig in the ground, underground burrows and underground tunnels, and that's where they will go if there is a bird of prey. So the meerkat that's a lookout makes a high squeaky noise, the meerkats go underground to get away. Now, another predator for them is something else entirely, and it slithers on the ground, begins with the letter S, it hisses, it is a snake. Okay, what do you think at home? Do you think they should go underground if there was a snake? No, because the snake's just going to follow them underground. So what they do instead is, again, that lookout sees a snake, it makes a different alarm call, a much lower pitched noise. They gang together in a group and they fight the snake away. And when they do that, that behaviour is called mobbing. So a group of meerkats, of which there's around up to 30 of them, a group of them is called a mob because of that behaviour. So you get a mob of meerkats. And that is my last fun fact. Thank you very much for joining me and have a lovely day.